Hey there crafters, it's uh, Reflections by Jane. Uh, my love from Lizzie subscription kit for February 2023 has arrived. And as you can see, I haven't opened it yet. I do know what's inside. Um, I know the kit, I know what the kit looks like, but I can't remember if I ordered anything else. We'll shoot uh, soon. We shall soon see. Right. Hopefully you can see what's in there. I've got <laughs> I craft with them. Right. <laughs> oh no. I'm just gonna Oh, I know I ordered some embossing powders. Oh yeah, there's a sparkly one there. Give that a whirl. I do love an embossing powder. Right, I'm just getting rid of all of these packaging bits and bobs. Just having a quick sneak oh, home. They're extras. They're extras. I believe. Um, I, sh I should be doing an unboxing tonight. Right, I believe they're extras. They're extras. Um, oh, I had, the, and I had an extra die as well. Um, right. Let's see what we got, shall we? I know that there's a new... Um, oh, there's a stencil. <gasps> oh, I forgot that stencil. Right, let's... Let's get stuck in, shall we? Let's open this bag here. So it was a gorgeous stamp set. Um, large sentiments on there. I would really like dies to cut those out. But hey, I do love a solid stamp. And I, I think what you could do with these is stamp them say in a light coloured ink and then stamp that over the top in a darker ink so it's like a two-tone um yeah i'll give that a whirl later so there's an a a6 stamp uh, sensor here so these look like paint splashes because obviously the theme of the water kit at uh, the the card making kit is um watercolor so there's different, you could do a, an inked like paint wash there, um, yeah, splats, what have you, that, love that. That's the new, it's like a blue holographic in the pinstripe style of, of uh, peel-offs, love those, lovely colour. Right, in here we've got the pattern paper and it's A4 this time. Um, so we've got, mm, it's quite thin, quite thin paper, um, but we've got, oh this, I know there's some vellum in, in here this time as well, so we've got four sheets of uh, vellum, I do, oh I do like that, let's go up some white paper, two ticks. Some white cardstock, as you can see the colours. So there's like a yellow dot there. Love that. It'd be a nice, just a nice overlay. Or just die cut a shape out. That would be lovely. I've got an idea of what to do with that. And there's like an ombre there. So and that's like a lovely teal colour. Love that. Um, and then there's um, like a watercolour wash. Um, multicolor rainbow style there, love that and then there's like a I suppose that could be like an, um, a sky and hills and you could stamp some trees some um, silhouette trees on there as well that would be really nice I love those, I really like those vellums I will be using those for sure right, I'm just Slide them under there. Right, so the rest of the pattern paper. Oh, some die cut. Oh, tags and banners on that sheet. So these just pop out. 
yeah so they'll be nice additions um that makes a box of some description let's have a look You've got score lines there, score lines there. Oh, it makes them like a little gift bag. I can tell now by the score lines. So you fold that over and then you um, score those over. Like so. <laughs> and then you've got um, score lines these always fox me <laughs> so you've got um, yeah so you can make like a little gift bag and then you can put your, your ribbon through there and then put them to bed yes it does it makes a little tiny gift bag I love that and there's two of those I always I think there's three actually And then there's some little tags and banners there. Oh, some that you could punch holes in these and then hang them from the bag, I think. And then, um, yeah, to make little gift bags. Put some ribbon or twine through a little punched hole and then hang them from the bags. Perfect. So there's more. There's two more bags on that card stuck there. Some sentiments. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and then we're on to the pattern papers. So we've got that lovely pink there, that lovely wash there. The only thing I don't like about these is that they are paper. They're not very thick. But, uh, yeah, nice nonetheless. Really striking, bold patterns. And, I mean, you could, even though the solid coloured cardstock is US size these are A4 but you could still get four panels for either an A6 card or an A2 card out of one sheet of A4 quite easily I love that it's an unusual sort of like a it looks a bit like a distress colour because it's sort of that muted at the top and then yeah it looks like crackling campfire colour that one or rustic hinge yeah. love that that'd go nice with that spotty what did i do with it i put them under the, under the back so yeah that would go nice as an overlay with that yellow i think nice bright and summery i love it because it's bright and summery really really nice and then the solid coloured card stock like i said before it is um us letter size so um if a2 cards are your jam you'll get four it's thick enough actually to make card bases i think i'd make a card base out of that quite easily um so you can get two a2 card blanks or four a2 um, card panels the white which is a standard for lizzie she always sends a white and it is alcohol friendly black i love a black and that looks like a solid core as well um yeah so yellow and blue beautiful and then you get a bunch of tags oh they were extra they're not in the kit so have a look at these oh these are nice one two three four there's five tags there they're really hefty weight they are you do quite easily do some mixed media on them uh, so there's five of those and then there's five of those ones yeah and then what we got here five again yeah five of those red spotty ones they're lovely really like the tags really hefty 
I think they're verging on chipboard. So I'm not, I'm out of sorts today because I feel terrible. Hubby's tested positive for COVID. I think I might be testing positive, even though the test I took this morning was negative. So I'm a bit out of sorts because I feel rotten. Um, so fingers crossed, it's nothing. Open hubby will be okay. Keeping my eye on him. Right, oh, there's some more tags in the kit. Oh, I think they were extra. I think I bought those as an extra, as an add-on. Because there's some more tags in here. Because I think I liked the tags so much, I bought extras. Yes, I did. Uh, so there's tags in the kit. Um, there's sequins. I love these ones. They're the iridescent, almost clear. I love those. I've got loads of those already as well. I used to use them all the time on cards. Yeah, there's some small tags here as well. Yeah, so I bought those as an add-on. Um, yeah, so there are the tags. We've got some modern gems. I think, I think I've still got some of these left over from a previous kit, when they were in a previous kit, but they are really nice. You could quite easily heat emboss these, use your alcohol markers to colour them, or even put some um, acrylic paint over them, because they're wooden, yeah. Yeah, I like those. And then there is some, oh, let's have a look at these. These look like either MDF or chipboard. I think these are MDF. So these are MDF with a watercolor wash. So there's a load of letters in here. Um, so I'm hoping there's at least one of, one of each letter of the alphabet and they have been laser cut. We can tell by the burn marks on them, but they haven't. Um, damage the front with the pattern on them. Ribbon, this is standard as usual with Lizzie's kits, you always get ribbon and these are beautiful, beautiful colours. So there's a red, uh, sorry, yeah, there's an orange, a pink, um, a blue, a green and a yellow and they are virgin on like, um, yeah, neon. They're beautiful, I love those colours. Bright and cheerful, happy. We, we get dyes, um, so there is a it's your birthday, you could quite easily inlay, do some um, die cut inlay on that one and then there's a cheers sentiment as well, I think that could go actually go over the edge of a card that one, even though it's got a cut line all the way around I think you might be able to do a um, sort of like an edgeable on that one so that's the dies there's also some sponge daubers I've got loads of these but more's never going to uh, hurt um, what have we got in here oh, some washi I do like a bit of washi let's try to um... oh wrong way I can't grab it. Here we go. Yeah, so there's your washi. Really nice, some really sticky, sticky washi as well. Like that. Um, and then there's um, like a watercolored um, washi as well here. I've got no nails. I'm waiting for my nails to grow because when I had acrylics on it really damaged my nails so I'm giving them a break from acrylics but I'm just waiting for my own nails to grow back again which seems to be taking forever oh that's really pretty love that lovely washi tape what else we got in here I love these goodie bags oh some brads I've got lots of coloured brads already uh, but mine are really tiny so these are a bigger size and they are a proper metal one metal one so i like those and then we've got some ink pads um i've got i have distress oxides and i have catherine Paula inks but um i don't think i've ever used versacraft so i'll give them a go i don't know what to, i don't know what they're like but i'll definitely give them a go and they're the little diddy ones as well lovely um, and also as an add-on I had I think I had some pearlescent 
Oh, and I had, oh, looks like it. <laughs> looks like I spent a fortune on add-ons this month and I forgot. Never mind, don't tell the husband. Yeah, it looks like I had some um, pearlescent card as well. I mean, I've got colourful pearlescent card, but not in this size. So it's lovely orange there. The purple. It's like a silver, silver white. A lovely lime green there. A pink. And then an electric blue. Love, love, love. And then I had colourful peel offs. As an add on, I had. Um, a 6x6 six six linen effect cardstock. Oh, it's a glossy, it's smooth, but it's got the, the appearance of linen. So I had all these lovely bright colours to go with the kit. And I thought they would go lovely. Like I said earlier, I had the extra tags. I've had some um, gems and enamel dots in bright rainbow colours. I've had some blue sparkle embossing powder. So it's sparkling, brilliant blue embossing powder. So I'm gonna give that a whirl, see what that's like. I've never used one of Lizzie's embossing powders before. And I've got these, sorry for the glare. I've got, oh, there's um, one, two, three, four, five holographic photo frames I'll turn them over so you're not blinded and then there's five just plain white there yeah so oh I've also got add an extra die as well which is the it says wow because when I was looking at the kit online on in the store I just it was singing like boys cards like superhero cards to me um so I had the the like the wow uh die as well because i just thought that you know the old batman um it reminded me of that so um that's why i had that because i thought that was cute yes so i'm really pleased with my kit this time i am going to leave you for a minute i'm going to go and have a think about what i'm going to make i'm going to make a quick card and then i'll be back see you in a minute Hello. Right, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do, but I have die, I've done a bit of die cutting. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do, so I thought I'd turn my camera on and then see where we go. I have got a love from Lizzie stuff all over, everywhere. <laughs> so I'm in my happy place. So I've used that die, uh, the cloud die, and what I've done is cut a piece of the printed vellum and I put some, I put some double-sided um, adhesive on the back, and then die cut it so that then becomes a sticker. But I want to, what I thought I'd do is layer these up so we've got some um, added dimension, and then I will just use my glue to adhere these together. Now the only trouble is when I use, when I've used double-sided tape in the past things haven't gone so well so we'll see we'll see what happens so I'm just making sure I've got glue everywhere I need it so sort of in between the letters as well yeah I just thought I'd like cut some stuff and play and just see you know where inspiration takes me really um, but that's how I tend to craft is I tend to cut things out I look at what I've got to play with or I want to play with and then see you know see where life takes me so I'm just going to peel the backing off that so pray that this goes well because the only trouble is once it's down you have a hell of a job getting it back off again. Oops. 
so far not too bad not too shabby there's a little bit of shadow where I'm um, a little bit out but that's not too bad at all so with doing that you can't see the adhesive so if you was to stick it on with wet adhesive you would see the glue but you can't see anything on there so I'm just going to give that a bit of a burnish down just to make sure it's stuck down well yeah. and it's like a chipboard piece and it is um, yeah that's stuck down really well I did, I did cut out the other dies as well, just to see what they're like, but I only cut them out of some scratch paper. And I'm going to, that would look fabulous, um, die cut inlaid, and that would look lovely on the edge of a card as well. So, yeah, I've got a couple of ideas for those as well. So I'll just get rid of those for now. So I'm going to use that piece there. I did cut them out again as well. Oh, while I'm here as well, I did do a swatch of the inks. So I stamped and i've also ink blended and they blend really lovely and this is just a really thin um it's the paper i used to make envelopes actually um and i just i just grabbed it and ink blended on it and it's blended beautifully i'm really surprised at them inks um so i think i might be having some more of them i like them very much so um right, so i've done that so then what else I'm going to do is grab some of the coloured cardstock that comes in the kit and I think we'll go for the, I'm going to go for the yellow. Right, you have to excuse me, I have got stuff everywhere i'm not normally this messy i'm more um normally quite tidy so i'm just going to cut these down into 80 panels four and a quarter by five and a half because that's how i i tend to be i'm, I'm it makes my cards a lot more manageable to work with um if i know that i've got um panels to work with so I want that to be yellow on the inside so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut a strip across there like so and then I'm gonna glue this down and then cut round And then I can just follow this shape round. Uh -oh. And then let's see if I can just tuck my scissors underneath there yeah. I could die cut it out of yellow save the letters and then punch them inside but I like that as it is and I, re I really like that die cut I think it's really cute okay right let's leave that for a minute Next, I think I'm going to use one of these frames and I feel like using, what did I do with them? Uh -huh. I feel like using these rainbow um, peel-offs, but I want to use the really 
thin ones. Let's do this. Actually, let me use the yellow first. It's a method in my madness. And I'll tell you why in a sec. Oh. So, to get that yellow one fairly in the middle. Go for the red. Orange. And then let's go for the green. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the pink one in. Hmm. I'll try it. See what happens. Not bad. like that right. 
and then I'm thinking that can go and there. Mm, but I've added dimension, so probably not. So I'm thinking that can go actually on there, like so. I've got an A2 card blank. And let's use this yellow. We've put it down, we may as well use it. I'm going to cut this down by four by five and a quarter. And then I am going to grab some other pattern paper, which one I do not know. That's singing to me. That piece is singing to me. So I'm going to cut this down to five by three and three quarters. That gives a nice. And I think I'm going to round the corners actually, make it a bit softer. Um, so I'm going to go with the rounded 7mm corner. Some tape. Where's my gun? There it is. My delivery of double sided tape for my ATG arrived, and I could not be happier. I think you might have seen me using the sticky thumb tape last week. It's brilliant, and I've ordered some more of that. As a backup for when I've run out of ATG and I have to wait a, an eternity for it to be delivered. Um, so, um, yeah, I've got that as a backup. Right, I'm just going to round the corners of the bottom of my card base as well, just to keep it all soft. Been crafting with quite a lot of yellow I've got a video coming up as a um, at the end of the month it's a use your stash ha hash yeah hashtag use your stash um, video coming up in yeah at the end of the month and there's a lot of yellow and orange in that video because I'm using up a, um, a collection of um, toppers and papers in that video. Oh, cute. Oh, I love this. Right, let's glue this down. Love it. It looks 
looks like ocean waves in the background. I really love that. How cute. And it's so simple. Just a bit of die cutting. And, um, time, yeah, just to put the, the peel offs on there. Um, I am going to put something, I'm going to put, I think, one mil foam. Um, I've got some one mil foam here. I think one mil will do. Just to support, yeah. And that just adds a bit. I really miss my nails. Let's put a bit of glue around the frame as well. Should have put a bit of foam up there but never mind it'll stay and then how about some um what embellishment shall we use oh, i've got the brads shall i use those gems shall i use those gem stickers no, let's let's just go for the sequins that are in the kit because these um i've used a lot of add-on things but i've used the paper out of the kit i've used the, uh, the peel offs are an extra um the frames were an extra the sequins are in the kit papers are in the kit so yeah it's not too bad i suppose Oh, there's different sizes in here. Oh, there's different sequins as well. There's some stars in there. So I'll just grab my... Um, I do like to put different sizes on the card. So let's put a big one up there. Um, a big one down there. Let's put a little one there. A little one tucked in there. And a little one tucked in there. And I just think that's really similar. That's perfect for a man as well. So there's a really simple card. Um, you know what I am going to do? I don't like those holes in there. But I do want to keep it yellow because it keeps in theme with the backing paper. Let's go with some glossy accents and see if we can fill in the holes. And when it dries, that will dry clear. So from the December kit, there is still some of the, uh, I've still got some of the glitter. So what I'm going to do is just chuck some of the glitter over them glossy accents. I love doing this because 
the glitter and we'll set that in the glossy accent and dry with it and it doesn't come off. It's so cool! When that's dry, it'll look fabulous. But I think that's a really cute first card with the kit. And let's see how, you know, when inspiration strikes, um, you know, when them glossy accents have dried, I'll brush off the excess glitter. So a lot all that you'll be left with is the glitter that's stuck to the glossy accents. I really like that. Hope you do too. I'll see you again soon.